Oh, I have been live for 44 seconds. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Blackbird. I hope you're all having a BEA beautiful day. Welcome to Alan Wake Part 5. There we go. We are on Alan Wake Part 5 already. Amanda Wynn with the Bird's Nest check-in and the Hours check-in. Welcome in, Amanda Wynn. How are we doing today? Let us see. Did my messages go through? I don't know if my live... I'm good! I'm a little sleep deprived. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, we... I don't know where we are. We need to talk to Rose. I don't know where to save me at. It's way too close to my face. Uh, the save that has a good play. I'm good. The heat died down a lot. Like, the heat wave disappeared almost completely like we had this massive heat wave coming in uh i shaved bird is now clean shaven today although i i feel so weird without the beard it 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 it, it, it doesn't suit me <laughs> yeah no the heat wave died down completely the we have a nice storm coming in like it's not an intense storm but it, like it is nice and cool <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm not used to not being fully shaved. I'm so used to having the beard because I used to have, like, free chins, so the beard would hide that nicely. So now without the beard, it's like, my face feels naked. <laughs> my leg up. But yes, we are doing some Alan Wake today. Let me just see. <laughs> yeah, we are doing some Alan Wake today. Uh, yeah, it is our, I don't know, I love the Alan Wake game, like, I love Control, I love the little tie-in we have with Tuesdays and Thursdays, being like, hey, same universe, if you like this game, check out Thursday, and vice versa. So I do love that, and we just finished up, like, the Alan Wake expansion, or the uh, add-on in Control, so this is like very appropriate and it didn't like ruin what's happened in the story or what's happening in the story so like all the twists and turns and surprises are still in store oh for dear. us. Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes, please come in. Okay, so we have this cutscene that we did last time. Hey. This is really good. Oh, I also added some new rewards. Rose. There's yes. a new channel redeem there for 10,000 points. It's a fun one if anybody wants to try that one. Although that's a one person oh, redeems it. It's been redeemed. Oh, type do it. Oh, Amanda. Oh no, you redeemed it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. This is our new point redeem, the EMT 
uniform redeem. Uh, you don't see much of it, but it is essentially one singlet, pants, and it's a jumpsuit. It's an EMT jumpsuit. It's my old EMT jumpsuit. Let me pause that real quick while I do the explain. Hello. Yeah, it's my old EMT jumpsuit, so that would be my cosplay for today. And this is essentially, hey, if somebody redeems this, it's staying on for the rest of the stream. I'm not going to struggle with taking it on and off. It does not breathe well, though. But yeah, this is the basic baseline thing. Normally, uh, there would be a bunch of buttons right here, like little, I don't want to say military pins, but military pins is the best way I can describe it which has your name, your qualifications, all that stuff would be like here, company you're working for, badge number, all that would be like on a separate little metal pin that you put on. It does not breathe well. It does have like little adjustable things, so it does... It is... I wouldn't say it's one size fits all because it does like differ in length. But it has like little zips on the sides. It's got pockets everywhere. It's it's essentially a old school disco jumpsuit because it even has like little bootleg zippers because we used to wear boots. So you put your boots on, zip it down, and zip it up to let your boots fit in. But yeah, it does not breathe well though. That's that is the one complaint I will have about it. It does not breathe very well. But other than that, this uniform, last time I wore this uniform, I was like 16, 17 years old. And it did not fit me as well as it fits me now. <laughs> okay, so we are continuing with control My manuscript is in full cosplay. The edits are getting very aggressive. Uh, not control, Alan Wake. Of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. <sighs> gonna give a little shout out on the discord be like hey anybody want to see me in full EMT gear go to stream now I'm attempting about this place she's worked with another writer under similar circumstances Thomas Zane the genre of the story seems to be shifting it's turning into a horror story I'm getting close I can feel it oh EMT gear good Amanda Wynn, I appreciate the lurk. Okay, so we are... Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. Ooh, All first. I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Okay, can I, can I touch right. anything? Zero okay. one one. Where do I go? So I don't have my hands. gun. Oh, manuscript my gun page. and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It was not right, this business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Okay, there we go. Uh, am I remembering correctly? I feel like for Alan Wake, I might need to move my camera. 
Dogs are going crazy right now. I don't know why. Let's see if there's anything cool here. Any collectibles? No? Okay. Radio? I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you. The weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? What am I looking for? My gun and flashlight is in the car, so I'm probably gonna get the car. But I do want to explore and see if there's like manuscript pages and stuff like that. Don't see any. Sorry, who? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slain. What the fuck? I'm assuming I don't have enemies, but I'm also assuming I'm missing some pages and stuff. Avoiding the light? Decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. No. 
ready. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Put it over here, put it over here. Spaghetti cat, welcome in. That's okay, I appreciate the tab, spaghetti cat. We're in full EMT cosplay today. See any pages here? Lucky. <laughs> like I forgot this uniform does not breathe. <laughs> I mean, you know what? If you want to go into full detail, boxers or briefs. <laughs> Let's see, do I have any guns yet? I might need to move my camera because I think I go up or right on Alan Wake. Oh, I'm being shot at. I died. Ooh. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh, hello, helicopter. <laughs> Are the birds attacking the chopper or me? The birds were attacking the chopper. Oh, damn. Okay. Now, wait. I feel like there would be secrets up here.
Oh, damn. Okay. No, wait, let's jump. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. No, uh, okay. How do I? Where's the door? The furnace. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Oh, like that light? And a furnace? generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. I am gonna take this off because I forgot how unnaturally hot this uniform is. Wow. I am burning up. I will be right back. Also gonna do a quick bathroom break while I'm at it.
I have returned. I forgot how unnaturally hot that uniform was. So, yeah. Ugh. I, I took it off. I was melting. No, I couldn't. Flashlight? Flashlight! Okay, we have our flashlight. Okay, there we go. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Come in. Over. Press R one to throw a flashbang. Okay. It's a flashbang. Oh, darn. I died. Let's try that again, shall we? I think we got them all that time. Okay. Nice. That's just my coffee bot. No, 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 no. We're gonna say so now, ha! What are you gonna do? Where'd you go? It is a page. Yeah. 
get him. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Okay, okay, here we go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Quickly, quickly, quickly. It's a very loud train. Sorry about that. Oh, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. to get to the coal mine. Yeah, I'll go there in a second, we're just seeing if there's pages. Coffee for miss. Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you there got we go. time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Pull your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. 
That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Is your pick? Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Okay. Okay, we have flares now. That's that's nice. There we go. Oh! Ah, safe zone. Safe zone. Can't touch me. no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. There you go.
Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Okay. Train tracks. Hello. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way. But just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I'm sorry, what? What object? The pipe. Where? I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Huh? The little arrow says this way. Yes. Okay. That works. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path could you not though What up, Dan?
How are we doing today? Atsu! Shut right in his smug face. He pleaded. I'm doing pretty well, thanks. True to form, the the Anthony, welcome in. I had no sympathy left, no guilt. Ah, oh, it's okay, nothing. Dan. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Okay. Where am I going? Up, climb, 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 ladder. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Heavy duty flashlight, ooh. Batteries. Revolver ammo. There we go. And presumed hydrate. I will hydrate Anthony. Thank you. Mm. There we go. Hydrated. Oh, you missed for EMT cosplay, but I took it off because I forgot how unnaturally hot that uniform makes you. Like, I was. Schwelzing. Uh, Flare, I feel like we're heading towards a boss battle. Sorry, I feel like get, you guys should get your sleep in. Like, I know I stream early for you guys. For my American friends, I stream very early. Oh, fuck, I'm out of flares. I think we got them all. Jeepers! Let's try that again. There we go. It's two.
take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering the vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right. In night springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless' trip to study the local customs of the insular community of Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. There we go. Very wide open space. Oh, lovely. I'm not prepared for a boss battle. Although, I know we have a boss battle. Uh. Ooh! I'm feeling a little off, though. So. Sweaty, hot, also have massive indigestion. So I think I'm gonna raid out. Let's see who's live, who is live, who is live, who is live. I will raid out to... Yeah, right out to you. I haven't read it out to you in a while. There you go. Okay, so tomorrow we are possibly going to do some Fortnite. I have not decided yet, 100%, but Fortnite, big possibility. And right, tomorrow I believe Lahawk from the Hours community is doing his um, raffle giveaway this week. So. Go over there, check him out, give him a follow, give him some love. He is in the hours community. Uh, W.GG, use code BLACKBIRD for 10% off. Uh, Bird's Nest link and hours link in my about section on my Twitch. If you have been here live, thank you so much for being here live. I appreciate you so much. If you are watching this on YouTube later, please feel free to like, share, follow, subscribe, do all those nice things. Until next time, I have been BLACKBIRD. This has been Alan Wake. I hope you all have a B.E.A. beautiful day. Bye-bye.